everyone and welcome back to my channel i hope you're well so i am going to be doing an aldi grocery haul and just show you what i got this week um i spent 110 pounds i did get a couple of extra bits um and a couple of bits for the freezer and stuff but um yeah i'll show you what i got and hopefully come up with some new ideas as i go around and just tell you what we're having for this week okay so starting over here we have got some salad potatoes got some baking potatoes um, a lot of the time I will do obviously some sort of meat or fish with these I usually just boil these up and then add lots of butter to them and they're just super nice um, with side salad and like steak or fish or something like that um, yeah so and then the baking potatoes the kids have been loving these been having these every week um, you know jack potatoes with beans and cheese with a little side salad or sometimes to add some meat in there like chopped bacon um, I've done like sliced chicken if we've needed to use it up as well um, just a really quick dinner that all the kids like as well I got some courgettes which I haven't bought in ages and I just fancy something a little bit different so I'm gonna give that a go in a few meals um, some passion fruits I love passion fruit and I honestly never buy it but sometimes Graham brings it home from the farmer's market and everybody just goes crazy for them so I got a pack of those some pomegranate seeds, some kitchen foil because we've run out, the feta lemon herb giant couscous. I've had this a few times. This is really, really nice. Um, I wouldn't say it's overly lemony at all. I am not a big fan of couscous. I just find it a bit grainy, just, you know, a bit boring, a bit bland. But the giant couscous is actually really, really nice. Got some golden delicious apples, which are my absolute favourite. And then I got three of the protein yogurts. So last week I did like a mini small shop in Morrison's. Picked up some of the Arla protein yogurts, which these are basically the um, copied version. And the Arla ones are a lot waterier, like they're just a lot thinner. And I didn't like them half as much. So um, yeah, if you like the thicker texture, these are really nice. I've got strawberry, vanilla, and the um, peach and passion fruit. Some almond milk, for my mainly for my coffee. I have been having porridge a bit recently because the weather's been a bit rubbish, so I had a bit of porridge. I had a bit of that to my porridge as well. Some wonky carrots, some of these um, sort of meaty trays. They're slightly smaller. I buy the big tins for like the evenings for pickles and then he has a tray in the morning with some dry bits. Um, and then I've got some filtered milk, some cauliflower, some bistro salad i've got some romaine lettuce these are the, like smaller ones asparagus spears i've been, oh, been loving asparagus recently I just grill them um loads of bananas going for a lot of bananas some broccoli two of these small little pizzas i'm just going to throw them in the freezer they're just really handy aren't they just as a last minute meal if we need it for the kids um some sun ripened tomatoes these are like my absolute favorite they're slightly bigger than the average plum ones some strawberries they just they're from somerset they just smell really good i'm hoping they're going to be super sweet um some pots of chalk for the boys and they didn't have like usually they have like the caramel version they didn't have any of those so i got one of those and then the chocolate mousse pack as well as like just a bit of a mix up the boys love these and then um four pack of sweet corn some zx cola i haven't bought that in a few weeks actually and then some baked beans over here we have uh pizza base this is just a ready rolled quick stuff this is so handy again just freeze it that's what i usually do and then me and graham had this one a couple of weeks ago um again you can freeze it you can cook it in the frying pan i haven't tried it but i literally just cooked it as i would in a normal um pizza pan and put it in the oven but i may try it this week in a frying pan because that just yeah this might be even more quicker um so yeah this is a sourdough pizza dough um i got the side of salmon so it's just a slightly bigger portion we've just been eating a lot of fish recently and i just love salmon i love trout so i just got the bigger portion of that and then we've had these a couple of weeks ago the chicken sis um sorry the tikka chicken thigh fillet sizzlers everybody love these and they taste amazing on the barbecue it's not quite barbecue weather anymore but um i was just going to bung them in the freezer anyway uh we've got some cheese sticks some cheese spread some feta i've been having a lot of different salads with loads of feta on um mozzarella 
some yogurt pouches, cheese string things, some seafood sticks for the boys, and then I'm doing a quick roast this week. Again, we haven't really had a roast in ages. It's just a bit cold in horrible weather, so I just fancy a quick roast. So we're gonna have this spatchcock chicken, which is really nice. It literally go, feeds around just a, just everybody without having any leftovers, which I'm totally happy with. So um, yeah, we've got that. And then I also got the Chinese style pork loin chops. These are 30% off. I'm gonna bung these in the freezer for, hopefully we're having a barbecue next weekend. And um, we love these and I pretty much buy them every week. So um, yeah, I was happy to see that they were 30%. I think it was a saving of like 80p. Um, creamy Caesar salad dressing. I've had that one before. And then I thought I would try the mustard and maple. That sounded really nice. Um, some hog roast sausage rolls for basically getting these for Graham. The kids have really gone off sausage rolls and I think it's because I just, you know when you continuously buy something, I think they're just getting bored of it. So I just bought them for him for like lunches. He also has got prawn cocktail which he really likes for lunches. Some back bacon, some oak smoked ham and dry cured cooked ham. Some chicken slices which I love. They're just so nice and I throw them into like everything for the bagels. Kids have ham, bagels, whatever. Got some crum crumbly cones for the freezer. <coughs> potato wedges, roasted potatoes and the Yorkshire puddings for a quick roast. Um, this pack of biscuits. Um, I haven't bought this before but I was going to buy custard creams and those I think. So I thought I might as well just get the pack. It's like 99p. Two lots of the instant noodles. The kids like those on a weekend. And then skid on fries. Graham's run out of Weetabix. And then I got the choco pillows and the, basically the lower in sugar cocoa pops. Mini rolls. Seal bars. These are basically like adding into school lunches. The races obviously had peanuts in. So we keep those at home. But Graham really likes those. And then we've got, I'm having a play day after school. So I bought some of these little, Dolly mixture, cola bottles, and teeth and lips. These are like 33p each, so I got those. Pistachios, I really fancy some pistachios, so I got those. It's like a little evening snack. And then I also got, I got a couple of these uh, before, and um, for some reason, I can't seem to find the apple and blueberry as a box, because they do boxes with the sachets, but I can only find the original or golden syrup. And Violet really likes this one. So I got her two of those, they're only 29p each, so it's just a switch up, um, just breakfast really. She's, she can just be a little bit like temperamental with breakfast, sometimes she just won't eat anything and I want her to eat something obviously before school especially. Um, some plain bagels, these are what they've been having for pet lunches, like ham and cucumber or cheese spread and cucumber usually. I got some of the Q10 day cream this is £1.45 I mean let me know if you've tried this but it has SPF 20 I'm in need of a new moisturizer for the morning or like for the daytime so I just thought I'd give it a go it's so cheap um got some rice cakes for me I'm loving just literally topping those with like almond butter peanut butter through sprinkling of like nuts or something or some berries so nice like I like them as a sweet thing not necessarily a savoury uh, lentil chips, I love these and they've got all the flavours in but the chilli and lemon are like one of my favourites and no one likes them which is good so that means I don't have to share them so that's good. Uh, brioche rolls and then the chocolate chip ones, these are for everybody. Teddy faces, I got those as a switch up for Miles, he's getting bored of the veggie sticks and stuff. And then I got the um, big pack of crisps for the kids. They like all the flavours and so does Graham, so that's fine. And then lastly, I got this woven basket pack. So this has been out for a little while. I've seen them in there, ironed them up. They were originally $17.99. They are currently on sale for $12.99. So it kind of, you know, made me buy them because they were on sale. I wasn't gonna get them otherwise. Um, but they're obviously good for plant pots. You can put plants in them, inside or outside. Um, but I think I may use the big one for outdoor toys, like his like uh, sandpit toys or you know what I mean, like just some like outdoor toys because it's lined, I think it would be really useful and it's cute as well. So yeah, three pack for 12 99 I thought it was a good, good deal. So yeah, that is everything I got from Audi this week. Um, yeah. Okay, 
So after all the shopping away, I just thought I'd quickly share my kind of rough idea of a meal plan. Um, as always, I am finding it, I'm always finding it difficult to try and find some meals for everybody that's gonna be happy with, because Violet's gone into this really fussy stage recently. For some reason, not really liking fish. Um, just being really picky and just would rather go without and that really frustrates me, you know what I mean? Um, I suppose it's just an age thing and they kind of get to the point where they are quite headstrong with what they like and you do obviously, like Riley's nearly 10, so when they're really little you can kind of, I don't know, not force them but you can kind of get around it a bit easier I find with food and just cooking for everybody and everybody has the same but I feel like when they get to a certain point in their age they know what they like and they have tried that thing many of times over the years and they still won't eat it so you can't keep pushing it you know what I mean so it does make life quite difficult Alistair pretty much eats everything um and Miles pretty much eats everything so Violet's little my little fussy one at the moment which is a pain <laughs> but anyway Tonight we're going to have jacket potatoes, she will have beans and cheese and I will do beans and cheese for the two boys as well, we've got like a little mini side salad, she loves her salad, so it's what anything that Violet is like, she is very healthy, she loves her healthy food which I can't really fault, she can be fussy but she loves healthy food, so you know, you can't win everything and there's pros and cons obviously to whatever the fussiness of your child is. But yeah, she loves her salad, so it'd be like a mini side salad as well. I'm gonna do me and Graham actually, the jack potatoes, but I think I'm gonna add in some meat. So I'm, I may, I was thinking of maybe doing like those chicken tikka thigh fillets and just having that as like a meat on the side. So like meat and veg. Graham needs meat in his life. You know, he's like, he won't, he won't take it if it's just like a veggie option. <laughs> um, and then tomorrow we're gonna have this, which I've had I swear, this has been sat in my cupboard for about a month. And I keep saying to Greg, like, bring home some mints so we can do it. And he's brought home some mints. So we're going to do the crunchy nacho fajita kit. I've already got some nachos, like the um, tortilla um, ones. So basically, it's just like um, a beef mince wrap with the nachos inside. It looks really good. Um, yeah. It has the seasoning in. I'm not 100% sure what the seasoning is, but it doesn't say it's spicy or anything. I'm sure it's some sort of like, I don't know. I'm hoping it's some mild, um, like the heater seasoning, but it sounds good. This is originally, again, from Aldi. I think it was £1.59. So we're gonna give this a go anyway. See who likes it. Again, this I will do, I will add like tin sweet corn. I've got some like uh, kidney beans or, you know what I mean? Some sort of bean I'll add in, cannellini bean, um, black beans. You know what I mean? You can just add extra things inside uh, the mints. Um, and then I'll, again, I'll just do like a side salad, have some cheese, um, olives, that sort of thing. So yeah, that is what we're having for Tuesday. I'm gonna do a quick roast for Wednesday, which you've already seen. Just, it's literally, I probably, I probably use my fresh, fresh veg Sometimes I use my frozen stuff, but because I've got a lot of fresh in and I will have more by Wednesday as well, I'll be using like broccoli and carrots probably. And then on Thursday, we're gonna have the big salmon. Not sure what Violet's gonna have. She may whinge about it. Um, I don't know, we'll see what happens. I could always come up with something. Funnily enough though, she won't eat that, but I bought those fish, like battered goujon thingies. Uh, a few weeks ago. I should have got some more of those actually. All the kids loved them. They literally look like long chicken nuggets, but they've got fish inside them. She loved those. So um, yeah, anyway, I'm gonna do the salmon with buttery new potatoes and loads of greens. I've got my asparagus to use. Um, I'll probably do peas and broccoli. Friday we have pizza night. May do the quick pizzas, as in like the ready rolled stuff, because we've got it in. Um, and then everyone could just top their own pizzas. And then Saturday we usually do like a takeaway night and then Sunday I'm going to do spaghetti meatballs because everybody loves spaghetti meatballs. Graham, literally my freezer is filled with packs and packs of meatballs. I told him just to make a massive batch so then I can just pull them out when we need them because 
like everybody loves his meatballs they're just so good and it's just convenient isn't it to have them in the freezer ready to go so we're gonna have spaghetti and meatballs and um, yeah, that is pretty much our meal plan for the week. If you've got any meal ideas, throw them at me. I'm hoping we're just gonna roll on, like get get rid of this week. It's supposed to be quite wet. And then ho hopefully roll on to like near our some dry weather and we can have just throw the barbecue on all the time. Our pizza barbecue grill thingy, which I love. Um, Cause I just find barbecue food so good, so easy and quick and, the mess and, and Graham's cooking as well and it just gives me a little bit of a like a relief of like not cooking um but yeah I just get so bored with the same food honestly I do love this the salad type type food though this time of year I'm well up for just the fresh stuff less cooking um but yeah I really fancy a pie I really fancy a pie I might try and get me a pie for next week a really big like steak and kidney pie or chicken and mushroom you know something like that i really fancy a, like a proper pie with like the casing yeah <laughs> anyway i will see you all very soon i hope you enjoyed this video and i hope you're well and um yeah throw me some dinner ideas i'm in need